musical intro. Hi everyone, I have Donna with me today. Um, we are going to do some mindful movement related to anxiety. So, hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone, so um, these are just going to be some movements. We're going to start with just a little bit of a check-in, uh, a quick little meditation, and then we're going to move on to some warm-up and uh, some little core work, and then some free movement, and then we'll go back and uh, cool down. So especially if you're having any sort of anxiety, it's really good just to follow your breath. So take, take a moment and close your eyes. And just focus on your nostrils or your mouth, wherever you're breathing, and really just inhale and exhale. And you don't have to think about how many counts or where the breath's going. Just really focus on where the breath is entering your body and where the breath is exiting. And as you do that, just try to sink deeper and deeper into yourself. Now, once you close your eyes and focus on your breath, you might start to feel that anxiety or unease. And one of the best ways to just sit with anxiety is just to watch it go by. So as you are feeling these uncomfortable feelings, Focus back on your breath and just see, feel, experience, sense those un, um, feelings of unease or unrest, anxious feeling. Just see if you can kind of look at it as a river and just those feelings are just going by. You don't have to engage or do anything with them. Just witness that they're in your body. And just Focus back on where the breath is inhaling, where it's entering your nostrils or your mouth, and where you're exhaling. Now on your next inhale, go ahead and just open up your eyes so you could just watch me or you could do this with the sound of my voice. I want you to bring your palms up and I want you to bring your thumb across your palm to your pinky finger. And then I just want you to let your fingers gently close around your thumb. Your palms now can either be in your, hands could be in your lap or on your legs again. And this mudra, this hand movement that we're doing, is really just to help you get a fuller breath in your body without having to do anything to breathe into your belly. It's just, it helps the air go into your belly, into your lungs, into your back, your whole torso. So now we're just gonna take a couple moments and just breathe nice and easy. Again, focusing where the inhale comes in, and when the exhale leaves, either our nose or our mouth. And then on your next inhalation, just check in and see how you're feeling. See if you can find anywhere in either a memory or right here, right now, where you feel some joy and bliss and happiness. And as you continue to breathe, see if instead of those uncomfortable feelings of anxiety or the unknown, Allow yourself to tap into bliss and happiness and joy. And every time you inhale, think of that emotion, that joy, that bliss is feeling your whole body up every cell, all the way out past your fingertips and toes, the circle around you. Think of filling up with joy and bliss 
And then as you exhale, feel that joy, bliss, happiness coming all the way back into you. So as your body is breathing, imagine the energy of joy and bliss and contentment come from you and come back into you. We're just going to take one final big breath all together, still remaining in that joy, bliss, contentment energy. And then exhale it all out. Now just begin to open your eyes, bring yourself back into the room. Your palms now can be flat. And just nice and gently, just take a nice little neck roll to the side and center. And then look over your shoulder, bring your chin down towards your chest, over your other shoulder, then look straight ahead. And just do that a couple times. It's just really kind of a half circle. Chin down, come back to center. And again, over and down. And up and center. One more time. And then next, just go and roll into your shoulders as you bring your head straight forward, just to get some nice big shoulder rolls here. As you come, think of the elbow, or shoulders going towards your ears, then pressing down along your back towards the floor, then rounding forward. So really exaggerate the shoulder roll movement in your upper back and chest, then reverse it. Again, trying to get your shoulders as high as your ears, all the way back behind you, and then all the way forward. Then the next time your ear, shoulders come towards your ears, hold it there and squeeze. Really think of squeezing that trap muscle that connects into your neck and your shoulders. Try to squeeze that muscle so hard that it moves and shakes. And once you've kind of squeezed it as hard as you can, think of squeezing a little bit more. And then exhale and just let it all go. Let it relax down and breathe. And again, squeeze shoulders up towards your ears, keep squeezing, and then now you can engage your belly, you can engage your arms, you can just engage your whole body, squeeze every muscle in your whole body, let the muscles just kind of get so squeezed that they start to shake, and then exhale, let it all go. We'll use your breath. And let's just make our way up to a standing position. And I'm going to just adjust my video so you can kind of see me a little more. Okay, so from here just take some big arm circles. Inhale and exhale. As you do that, let your knees bend and really feel grounded into the earth. So even when you're standing, think that the feet are flat and the feet are heavy. And you're just filling up your whole torso with that positive energy, that happiness, your breath. Then exhale, reverse it, go all the way around. Just working out any sort of stuck energy anywhere in your body. Take some deep, big arm swings. Then extend the arms straight out to the side and just point and flex your fingers. So point the fingers towards the floor, then flex, turn the fingers towards the ceiling. Good. And just keep pointing and flexing. And then just now start to circle your wrists and try to get your fingers involved. So each little finger has an articulation with it. And you keep breathing. Now reverse the direction, circle the other way. And again, add your fingers in the mix. And then exhale and just let your arms just drop down and hang. And we're going to move into the torso of the belly. So there's a lot of sometimes energy tension gets stuck in either the heart or the belly. So just want to do a couple rotations. So you're going to tuck your pelvis, bend your knees, 
And then you're really gonna tuck here and let the upper body just round. And then reverse it, stick your bottom out and stick your chest forward. So this is kind of like a standing cat cow, but really it's more about just you're using your whole spine, you're really filling your chest up with air and exhaling release. Now, I'm gonna have you come to a standing position once more. So see if you can get your ears over your shoulders and your shoulders over your hip. Hips over your knees. Knees really over the arches of your feet. Soften your knees. We're just gonna play around with isolation of your rib cage. So think of just your rib cage going forward and then your rib cage going back. And again, forward and back. So inhale, open up your chest, exhale, round in that upper thoracic, your head can go. And again, open up your chest and round. Chest goes forward, then it pushes back. One more deep round here, hold, then come back up to center. And now with your knees bent, I just want you to think if you can move your ribs to the side, like if you're on a horizontal plane, so if you know what a typewriter is, think of it's going straight to the right, then straight to the left. So literally you're lifting your ribs, sending them to the right, lifting the ribs and sending them to the left. If you feel any tightness in your lower back, just think of pulling your abs in. So you want, if you can, your shoulders and everything, you're not leaning at all, you're just trying to isolate those ribs to the side. So if you want, you could bring your fingers on the top of your hip bone and your thumb underneath the very floating rib. You're still feeling a lot of space there, so you're not leaning side to side. You're just trying to isolate the rib cage. Good. Then, the next time you come center, hold it here. Now we're gonna do movements in all those directions. You're gonna press your chest forward then bring the ribs to the right, round back, ribs go to the left, and then forward. Side, ribs go back, ribs go to the other side, ribs come forward. And we're just trying to do this just because a lot of stuff gets stuck in our upper back, and it's good just to try to get that moving. Then reverse it. You're gonna go to the opposite side first, then back, and then the other side. And just depending on how your body is, one side might feel really easy and the other might, side might not feel that easy, but that's okay. Just think of going through your range without any judgment. One more. And then from here, just hold center. You're gonna now add the circle. So you're just circling your rib cage. You're gonna bring it forward, to the right or left, back, doesn't matter which direction you start with, you're gonna reverse it. So now just think if you could smooth out those four points. And you're really just isolating those ribs. Then reverse, go back and around, and try to get the movement as much. So your hips are as still as possible, and your head's gonna go a little bit, your shoulders are gonna move. But you're really just trying to get that mid-back, upper back nice and stretched out. Then come back to center. Then just take a breath and I want you to go into a wider stance, so open up. So think of your stance is pretty much on the outside of your, if you were to extend your arms out, you wanna draw a line from your wrist to your ankle, that's how wide I want you to be. And you're gonna bend your knees and you're just gonna, Start lifting one hip up as you press the hip down. Then you're gonna bend through like a little squat and then you're gonna stretch the leg to the side. So it's kind of a big U half shape circle. So you just wanna really work on getting anything in those hips released. Especially if you've been at home, you might be working and sitting more. And it's just big circles and big circles, really hike the hip up, then drop the hip down, go to the other side, one more, 
Then come back to center. Now with your toes, just if their feet were turned out, just turn your feet so they're straight ahead. Legs can stay wide. And you're just gonna keep, you're, you're gonna rock your pelvis front and back. So your hands are gonna stay on top of your hip bones and you're gonna rock your tail, tailbone forward and tailbone back. Trying to keep now the rib cage to the shoulders and the head perfectly neutral. You're just gonna go forward and back. Then you're just gonna do those hip hikes here, right and left, bending your knees in between. So it's a little bit smaller, but I'm wearing black, but I'm trying to keep my hands right on the top of my hip bone. So you can kind of see where the hip goes. So just your hip and hip and hip, one more then hold it here. Now we're gonna do what we did to the, with the rib cage. You're gonna tuck your pelvis forward. You're gonna go to the right. You're gonna tuck your pelvis back. You're gonna hip, lift that hip up to the left and then come forward. So side, back, forward, front. Side, back, side, front. Side, back, side, front. Now reverse it, go side, back, side, Front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, front, and again. Now start making this nice and smooth, the circle. So think of going all the way around without the stops in between. So as you do that, think of sending some joy, happiness, that breath all the way through your whole body and reverse it. And even if you feel stiff or it feels kind of silly or odd, just think of doing it anyway, getting a nice big circle, like getting that hips moving, blood flow happening. Then on your next inhale, come back into center. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Then think of taking your right arm, let me scoot back, see if you can see it. Reach that right arm towards the ceiling and then come back in. And then the left arm just reach, just reach out of that hip to the ceiling and then come back. And then reach. Think of reaching just to the ceiling. The other arm can kind of bend a little and you're just stretching one side of your body. And again, breathe and back in and stretch. And in, last time, stretch. Now both arms go up, stretch both of them up, and you don't have to turn, but just think from this position, you're just now gonna bend your knees and let your head drop, and then just swing your arms back up, reach tall, then let your head drop and swing. And you can imagine, sense, feel anything you want when you drop your head and swing. You can imagine it all just the tension releasing out of your body. Just letting all go. Use your exhale. One more. And then now yeah, just gently make yourself to the floor, to the mat, whatever you have. And another good com combating of anxiety is to use up that energy. And some ab work creates some heat and also helps you burn up some of that energy in your stomach. So think of squeezing your inner thighs together. And we're just gonna do some gentle ab work. So take care of yourself, curl yourself up as high as you can, and then lower back down. Now, if you don't have the ab strength to lift, just go to where you can, then use your arms to pull yourself forward. And again, reach back and up. And if you have the ab strength, just think of your lower back as into the mat, and then you're gonna come back up. Do one more. And then from here, balance on the back. So you wanna be in between your tailbone and your sacrum. So this is a little boat pose, or if you are, familiar with it, but squeeze your inner thighs together. And then your arms, if you want to more work, just stretch out your arms, look past your toes and squeeze your inner thighs there. Then 
just lower down till your lower back is into the mat and then come back up and then lower and up. So you're not going all the way down, you're just pressing the, think of your waistband down into the mat and then back up and lower and up one more. Hold it here, squeeze those inner thighs together, lower the feet down, then lower your head. Now keeping your arms up towards the ceiling, just reach the legs up and they can be loose. If you have tight hamstrings, your legs can be bent. So what I want you to think of now is that as you lift your head, your hands are gonna to go towards your feet and then lower back down. And then lift up and lower back down. You can squeeze your inner thighs together and pull your belly button in. Now, this is the fifth one, hold it up. Now just lift your tailbone to the ceiling for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there, squeeze, 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 and then rest, let everything rest. So it's important as you build tension, you also give yourself a moment of just pure releasing. Then pull your knees back in towards your chest. Legs now are gonna go out into a V. Hands are now gonna come through, and you're just gonna lift up and lower down for one. And lift up and lower down for two and three, and four, five, hold it here, then hips go up, five, four, three, two, one, hold it there, squeeze, 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 then exhale, knees in, let everything go down. Take a deep breath, let your lower back release, then one more set, legs go up, arms go up towards the ceiling, lead with your chest, Lift up, lower down, and two, we're gonna do five, three, we have two more. Last time, hold it up, then hands are reaching the ceiling, tailbone lifts up, legs lift up. Three, two, one, hold it there, lift, 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 squeeze, then exhale, lower down, let everything relax. Exhale it out. Last exercise, legs up, open up the legs a little bit more. Hands can go on top of one another, and then you're just gonna reach through, and through, and through, and through, and hold it here, hips up, legs up, one, and two, and three, and four, five, hold it there, squeeze, 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 then exhale, let everything go. Here, if you had some heat going on in your abs, really just press the belly to the ceiling, take a deep breath and reach the arms back behind you. Then just rock up, sit up, roll to the side, however you feel like to come up. And then we're just gonna go through a little bit of movement, active movement and some cool down. So for active movement, what we're gonna do first is, I want you to go, just go wide, and you're just gonna reach your arm across your body, and then use your abs, and then kind of pull back through. Then you're gonna go to the other side. The back foot, let me adjust my camera again. So you're gonna, so your feet are going like lifting, and then opening. So the arms stay up, in like a second, then the arms come in. You're up on your toe, pivoting your knee in, and then back, and then forward. Great. So then now we're gonna add a little plie dip here and then turn and open, plie and over. So in the center, you're gonna bend. Then you're gonna rotate and down and rotate and bend and straighten and bend and straighten and bend and straighten. And bend and straighten and bend. So go at your own pace. I'm just going a little bit faster just so we can kind of create some movement. You don't have to keep up. One more. Then reach the arm up and think of just reaching like you're doing a big circle throwing like a ball and reaching through your toe. And you're reaching and reaching and reaching and reaching and reaching. Now as you do that, think of coming from your center as you go, so it's your full body, your legs dip, 
and you're reaching. Your legs dip and you reach. And then we're gonna add this into what we were just doing. So you're gonna reach, bend, open, together, reach, bend, open, together. Yep, then reach, then bend back down, open, here, reach up, bend back in. So that's the tricky part. You're gonna bend, you're gonna reach and throw that back leg, then you're gonna come back into that bent leg, then you're gonna open, then you're gonna come together, then you're gonna reach and throw up, go back into the bent leg, then open into a second. So this is just more for your mind. So you really have to just think about what you're doing. You can't think of anything else in this moment, just doing the movement, and then now make the movement your own. You can go through it, you can go to the side, you can go back to the reaches. Just take a few moments and kind of move your body in big sweeping movements. You can kick your leg. So this is just an opportunity for you to be as creative after we've done these big sweeping movements. Just listen to your body. We're only going to do it for a couple more minutes. So just really, you can move, you can move around in a circle. Try to use some playfulness now and just do whatever your body really wants you to do. And as you do it, just think of the joy and excitement, laughter, bliss. Just really kind of throw your body around. Let these big movements happen. Take one, two more movements, and then we're gonna start to cool down. So as we cool down, just rock side to side, bend your knees, and going into like a nice wide deep plie, bend down, then straighten up, squeeze your bottom, and then again, your arms can go back up, then exit. And your inhale can come through here, up over your head, press the arms down. And again, inhaling, hands can come up over your head, exhale, out to the side. And again, inhaling up and exhaling over. Take a moment here, just walk your feet in and just kind of wiggle your body side to side. Take a deep breath here. Let your head go, and then come all the way up. Reach back up to the ceiling. Then again, drop your chin to your chest, bend your knees, hang forward. Take a moment, let your head relax. Then lower back down onto the mat. We'll just stretch out those hips a little. So inhale, lift your chest up with a flat back, Come as forward as you can. Then you're gonna exhale, let your head go down. Then continue your exhale as you round back. Inhale into a flat back. Keep inhaling as you go forward. Exhale, let your head drop. Then exhale, round back. Again, inhale forward, exhale round. One more of this direction. And then we're gonna reverse it. Come up to sitting. Then you're gonna see shape round back. Really use your legs to pull your lower back back. Then crown your head goes towards your knees. Flatten out your back here, stretch up. And again, round back. Head comes forward. Stretch your back out and up. Two more, round. Head comes forward, flat back, up. Last time, round, head down, flat back, and up. Now just extend your legs out in front of you. And without pressing your body forward, just bend your knees a lot, chin to your chest, and just let gravity pull on your head, neck, and shoulders. Inhaling and exhaling. So you don't want to think of stretching forward, 
You want to think of curling in on yourself and just letting your head, neck, and shoulders really release. Take some deep breaths in and out. And then on your next inhale, we'll come back up and just sit in a nice, comfortable seated position. Close your eyes. Just take a few breaths to settle back into your body, into your heart space, wherever you land. Now just take a quick inventory from head to toe and just see how you're feeling. See if there's still any tension in your face, your jaw, if there is, just breathe it out, let it go. See how you're feeling in your neck and shoulders. Elbows, wrists, and fingers. Scan down your torso. Let go of anything left in your hips and glutes. And then focus on your legs, knees, ankles. Let your lower body just be heavy rooted into the earth. Let your spine grow tall, crown your head towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Take a moment to feel really rooted and grounded into the earth, the upper part of your body and your head reaching towards the sky. Sense, feel, imagine joy, bliss, happiness. Take a deep breath in and exhale anything that needs to be released still out of your body. And then go ahead and open your eyes and thank you for joining us for this movement class, this mindful movement class. Thank you, Donna. That was amazing. I actually felt like your movements were very dance-like. I was like, oh, this is so fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was so fun. Yeah, thanks. I did, I did take this a lot from my dance days, so. Yes, I, I thought so. <laughs> Hopefully all of you would enjoy it too. Thank you. Bye.